Hello everyone, welcome to another round of Love Bite Bite Battle. I have with me uh, Super Rogue. Hello, Super Rogue. Hello. And we're going to comment Yobe versus Pestis. Uh, yeah. What's the keyword for this one? I think the wheel already spun. Yeah, it's a bird for this uh, match. So uh, I'm excited to see what these contestants uh, are going to do. I mean, both Jobe is, a, is a, just a legend on uh, Pico 8 and uh, also uh, participated on uh, Love White Battlegrounds. And uh, yeah, Pestis as well came in second at Battlegrounds. So this is going to be a very interesting match. Pestis had a very bad round with some ducks, he, like which where he didn't know what the hell to draw with a duck, and now he has birds. Like as we were saying before we started uh, uh, doing this commentary, at least he has some experience on the field, <laughs> so that yeah. might help him out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very much looking forward to uh, to these battles. Both Yobe and Pestis are uh, have been doing great stuff on the Tick 80. As Super Rogue was saying, Yobe is a legend on Pico 8, and very cool to see him active on the Tick 80 now as well. And Pestis did really good uh, last year. Uh, both his um, entries for the competitions and his uh, bite battle participation at Battlegrounds were both uh, really good. So really very very interesting matchup that uh, we're about to have right now. Really yeah. excited. To, to see it uh we should have the countdown starting at some point sometime soon um super Oak, do you have any favorites or you're just you're just waiting to be amazed by both yeah i i'm i'm uh, yeah i'm just going to be amazed by this matchup i mean uh both uh from finland uh both sort of legends uh, i've been really impressed by uh, all the work that pestis has done uh, in the last couple of months uh i think uh, you were actually the one that uh drag them into this whole fantasy console uh, madness that is true that is true my my random shameless uh, uh banter uh, caused pestis to retaliate and uh, and do a, a tick 80 size coding thing and now apparently he's hooked into the thing and he's been doing more a lot of very cool stuff uh on the tick 80 and looking forward to his releases at love bite uh competitions themselves as well that should be yeah. also fun yeah, he's actually, I think, taking on some uh, dust stuff as well. Uh, he mentioned oh, so nice. interesting to see what uh, what that is going to look like. Uh, Super Og, you were telling me that you're not participating this year at the, at the Bite Battle. Why not? Uh, I think uh, we, uh, this year we wanted to go with uh, all new uh, uh, contestants or contestants that maybe did uh, one Bite Battle before and uh, give some new faces uh, a chance to participate on the stage so uh you didn't want to depress mentortonic anymore with some more uh, doom ray tracing i just want to <laughs> lay back and enjoy these matches uh, ps <laughs> so uh, okay. the countdown is here five seconds four three two one there we go there we go the timer timer getting started yeah. So uh, what would you do, Super Rogue, if you were in this position starting now, a bird? What would you oh, draw? Man. This is going to be tough. Uh, you, Yeah. I think it's going to be hard to do it in 3D, actually. So I think it will be some t 2D bird with some nice uh, sign movements. Oh, so, uh, oh, Pestis is doing a reference to the intro that he did about me. He, pr he printed some Vs to signify uh, birds on that intro. I, yeah. I see you, Pestis. I know what you're doing. Because they do, they do feel like, like it, they are flapping yeah. a little bit. So It's a, it's a well, cheap way. It doesn't sound that nice. But uh, it doesn't cost you a lot of bites. And yeah, a V is kind of like a bird. So it maybe gives you some extra bytes or space to spend elsewhere mm -hmm. oh it's contestants by the way are going really fast off to the races what really does quick. mem set what does that mem set do do you have any clue yeah you can just set a whole area uh with a single value uh so you have a, an address and a value and then a size so uh, it saves you a for loop so it's just cleaning the screen yeah i think it's cleaning with a yeah it looks like it's cleaning the palette, actually. Ah, I see. So it doesn't have like the artifacts from the default colors. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is uh, smart. Yeah. So I think he clears the whole palette, uh, Joby, and then uh, only fills uh, two channels. Mm, nice. So you don't have the artifacts for the tick, uh, the Sweetie 16 palette. 
very cool, very cool. Meanwhile, Pestis already has some birds on screen, and now he's tuning how fast they're flying. That's like a big flock of birds right there. Yeah. Like reminiscent of the of the of the entire film. Hitchcock would have been proud. <laughs> but was the keyword bird or birds? Is it singular it or was, plural? I think it was bird. Okay, so Best is yeah. already disqualified. <laughs> I call <laughs> it now. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah. Ah. Uh, looks nice. I like that pattern. Oh, interesting. And everything was just some signs. Yeah. And the L is accumulating some stuff through time, so like every bird is different. Interesting. That's quick. I'm um, interesting to see what Joby is going to do. Mm -hmm. Especially with the custom palette, he's up to something. Yeah, maybe he already has like this special idea of what to do. At least he already has the palette for it. He's doing some yeah. circles. We can see uh, Joby using like a special uh, method of uh, of like including an if statement uh, into an assignment. So that saves some bytes uh, right there. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. So a little over 20 minutes left and both contestants uh, have been going rapidly uh, typing code. So uh, I think they both have a good idea of what they want to do. Hmm. Can we go back to that if statement thing? You, like yeah. you, you, you have A uh, equals something uh, lower than something. So we, yeah, everything that you do on the if statement is going to be assigned to A. Is that the trick? Uh, that's the thing. Yeah. So you can uh, you can see in Joe Bay's uh, code uh, that he assigns A depending uh, on if the C is uh, bigger than zero or not. Uh, and either the assign it a value or assigns it uh, one. Okay, interesting. And he's doing fire effect. Fire is not very bird. Is it like a phoenix, maybe? Ooh, that would be nice. Ah. Phoenix is a bird, technically speaking. Is is Pestis doing the same trick? No one told me about this trick. Where the hell? Why is yeah, everyone doing can, it? You can do these assignments uh, everywhere, in like into a variable, uh, a position where you normally insert a variable. Oh, he's doing the using that other character to make it look like they are uh, flapping their birds, maybe. Yep, yep. So depending on the sign value of the bird, it will either flap up or down, or crash the Katie, or crash the. <laughs> That's always good. So uh, I want to hear people in the chat. What would you have done if you got this keyword bird? Uh, what ideas would you would you have tried to implement? Technically, a duck is a bird, isn't it? Yeah, so I guess you can just reuse the duck. Unless you're gas man, in which case you will forget your arithmetic and fail to implement the bird. Yeah, don't remind them of that. <laughs> Sorry, gas man. I had you. to. I had to. Sorry. Yeah, but he wrote an excellent tune for the duck jam. Yeah, Still. he redeemed himself with the uh, with the music disc. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. And yeah, the cool thing was that it included all the jams that people did for that keyword, for the duck keyword, but you could also see the code. So it's also a great learning tool for people who are starting to do size coding stuff to just check all of the entries and see all the tricks right there in front of you. That's really very, very interesting and useful. Yeah. I really liked uh, the way it was presented, the format. Uh, I mean, there was like a, a byte battle uh, compilation done before, which was mm -hmm. just the different effects. And I like the way that uh, the Duck Jam uh, both presents it as a demo and also allows you to uh, look at the effects and code uh, individually. So mm -hmm. very well done, Gasman, Mantratronic, and the rest of the team. Uh, Pestis has some flying ducks now, or flying birds. They yeah. are flapping at least. I like these patterns. I, I'm not too sure about that. That 
thing in the beginning, which sort of well, like seems like a clear sinus line. That those are the ones that I really like. I, I prefer I prefer more chaos in my effects, but I guess that's down to personal taste, anyways. Yeah. I think uh, Joby is still uh, trying uh, to get. Maybe looks like he has a grand idea that he wants to execute on. Maybe it mm -hmm. is the Phoenix flying too yeah. close to the sun. Yeah. Resurrecting from the ashes. It does like fire effect because he he did one at one of the previous matches at Battlegrounds. I think he did uh, the dragon theme was one of the matches that he did, and it, it was uh, like a fire effect getting uh, thrown out. So yeah, he's I experienced that's, that's with the, fire. That's where the uh, custom palette is for that. I think. Mm. Oh, now Pestis is doing some background stuff as well. So it looks like a, like a more natural feeling. Oh. Flying through the clouds. Looks like, yeah. Oh, really nice. Sort of the similar effect that he did where he originally used the V. Uh, it also had this landscape with circles, so he's uh, reusing some old ideas. But you know, if it works, yeah. it looks good. I mean, there's, there's good movement in the clouds as well. So mm -hmm. it's a quite dynamic scene already. And yeah. I think not even at a halfway point. So still so, uh, enough time to go. Yeah, Super O, who would you vote to win if you if the voting would end right now? Ah, uh, I, I think I would I go mean, past this. I think I would yeah, go past. Uh, this. I mean, past this, uh, uh went uh, went for it right away, and I think there's more happening at this point. But mm -hmm. we're not even at the half I point. And it looks like Jobe is uh, is has having some aces on his uh, in his sleeve, mm -hmm. and uh, he's. Looks like he's preparing something big. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen the actual bird in this yeah. effect. So. Once you see the phoenix rising, your mind will change and you will be blown. It's already optimizing some stuff, and he needs because it's like 289 bytes big, so that's uh, yeah. still quite a bit far away from 256. He needs to be careful yeah. with that. It's a good uh, moment to start optimizing some easier optimizations or uh, um, things that you can already see if hey, I can do this uh, smaller then why not already it saves you time in the end mm -hmm. how how stressful is it that you participated in a lot more competitions than I have so bro how stressful is it like when you're down to two minutes and you need to find some desperate bites were you ever in that position or were you always like very careful not to go overboard uh, I I always like to tweak my effects, so that can be a bit risky. I mean, uh, you can change something and then uh, in the end uh, go over limits or, or or just mess up the effect uh, altogether. So that that is a that is a risk you you need uh, you you need to be willing to take. And uh, I do like to iterate uh, my effect over and over again as long as there's still time on the clock. But mm -hmm. it can be very dangerous. I mean, in my first round, I had a voxel cube on battlegrounds, and it wasn't perfectly the way I wanted it because I tweaked it too much. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. I think for the uh, for the audience, it's also great that uh, you can see an effect uh, that is being iterated all the time and. Uh, yeah, it's a bit better of a journey if you see. But you're you're also like quite fast to reach what effect you want to have, so that's also a bonus, a, bonus, a, a plus side and a curse. Because if you if you do an effect right away and then you try to iterate different versions and none of them really seem to work much, then it's just like yeah. I had a couple of times where I just changed my mind mid battle and. Uh thought of something that might fit better uh, and 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 try that and uh, as long as there's enough is there is enough time on the clock you can still do that i wouldn't uh, do that like five with five minutes left on the clock but mm -hmm. if you still have 15 minutes uh, there's still time yep it's okay to change your mind from time to time yeah 
Sounds legit. Best is really going for the, the those cloud colors. Using the oh. the... oh, wow. What was that? Like a landscape thing? Yeah. Wow. wow. Really cool. And how good is he in size? He still has... No, he's oversized now. Needs to be careful as well. Both of them are a bit over the limit. Yeah. Need to shave off some 20 bytes to be back. Yeah, yeah about 13, 12 mi 13 minutes left. Yeah, should be enough. Uh, don't forget to vote. Uh, keep updating your vote throughout the entry because we want to see those funny looking charts uh showing some the evolution yeah. of the voting but it will be your final vote that really matters yes so uh yeah go vote if you don't have a vote gi uh, ask one of the uh, organizers they will get you one you can go to party love bite dot party and uh um, participate in the live voting for these uh, awesome matches yep Oh, nice uh, yeah. iteration on the fire effect there. Yeah. With some slightly wider circles that kind of yeah. kind of looked a bit better, I think. Yeah, Joby just literally set this effect on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the mood on Pestis' uh, effect right now. Really moody. I can see an optimization right there. He uses 9999 instead of using an exponential. I'm still curious what Joby is up to. I think this is it. I think you're supposed to imagine the the Phoenix in that. I don't, I'm I'm missing a head to really envision yeah. the Phoenix. But you, I mean, that was one of the first ideas that we got is that this is a Phoenix. So I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure that it is. Or maybe but it just doesn't bother with the keyword altogether. Might be. And in that case, you will have to uh, judge with your voting power. Uh, do whatever you think is best. There is no predefined rule, is there, Super Rogue? You're part of the organizing team. Yeah, so uh, you can take uh, the keywords into the account or not, but I think uh, we did the keywords uh, first at uh, Battlegrounds, uh, and we saw that uh, the audience really went for uh, for for they really appreciated the use of the keyword. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think it it really does matter. Yep. You'll be tweaking some values. Still has ten minutes left on the clock. Yeah. Oh wow. I really like what Pestis did here with the whole landscape thing. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of birds granted, so I think it, 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 he could do with less birds. But the the overall mood and the uh, these rocks. Uh, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still trying to do some iterations on the effect. Yeah, I think Pestis is uh, within limits right now, and Joby is as well. So that's uh, good to see that uh, they're both within limits. And uh, less than 10 minutes on the clock. So this is uh, going to be the final stage uh, uh, for this battle. Yeah, but Pestis is within limit, but he lost the landscape now. Mm -hmm. well, I, hope not good. Get, uh, yeah, I hope he can get the landscape in, because that, that really brings the effect home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pest is keeping it clean in terms of colors, just using the second half of the Sweetie 16 palette, the grays and the blues. Yeah, that's good to do the, the sky. Yeah. Yeah, Jobe loses a couple of bytes in setting the palette. That 
that take some uh, space away from the actual effect. But it's needed if you want to have a proper fire. Mm -hmm. The best is just trying to get back the landscape yeah. using some rectangles, but doesn't know where to get the the bites from. Yeah. Yeah, you can have an awesome idea in your head, but if you can't make it fit, yeah. you have to kill your darlings. No. Uh, we can see uh, Jobe doing some rectangles right now. So it's <laughs> so like a magic carpet flying in between. The <laughs> what the hell is that? <sighs> it's an airplane, maybe. Yeah. Might be an airplane. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's nah. Superman. Yeah, yeah I still wonder what around. Uh, Go ahead. If if this this shape is. Uh, is, is it representing a bird or I mean like you said it's sort of missing a head of... maybe it's a symbolic bird right. sort of a Batman shape maybe <laughs> Batman is a bat though no, not a bird yeah. I don't think he has bites left to afford like a yeah. circle or something whoa what was that on oh. this side yeah. Things moving, roller coaster happening. What the hell is Pestis doing? <laughs> Six minutes left on the clock, and we have roller coaster tycoon happening on Pestis' yeah, side. Yeah. I do like the progression that uh, Joby effects has over time. So that's that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, Pestis is way over limit right now. Doesn't look like he's able to get the uh, the rock formations in, but who knows? Maybe he's just trying something else, and then he's gonna control why everything. I think he is going for that airplane. Still look like a magic carpet to me. I'm sorry, Pestis. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Maybe it's the plane that is uh, taking the, the corpse away for that last guy that uh, dared to give you a piggy. <laughs> Both of them slightly above uh, the limit. Yeah, yeah, uh, Bestus yeah. is uh, definitely in a worse place. Yeah. He has to shave off some 16, 14 uh, bites. Yeah. So if you uh, want to see if our contestants are within the limits, the easiest way to spot it is to uh, just check the color of the bar below. If it's green, they're within the limits. If it's yellow, they're close. If it's red, they are way over. Uh, and, uh, and you can see the actual bite counter uh, uh, on the bottom right. So, bro, what do you think about the countdown on the bite size? Because to me, it feels like it should be 256 bites from the start. So you always know if you're uh, above or below. Yeah. Do, do you kind of like the going yeah, down to 512 instead? Yeah, it's uh, the idea is to have a sort of a limbo then. So yeah, in the beginning, you still have a lot of space. Maybe like the first few minutes, you don't need it all, but uh, definitely midway uh, the battle, uh, you you are happy that you uh, that you have that space, and then uh, it's nice to see it uh, uh, countdown. I think it's uh, for the audience participation; it, it works as well. But yeah, there's an argument to be made to just have have the fixed 256 bytes limits from the get go. 
or make it end at 256 earlier so you have like mm, uh, yeah. a few more minutes to uh, to get your because i think the idea was that you do defect and then you try to optimize it away until it fits right. yeah but a lot of people are just you know coding the fact right away and optimizing it already so they're optimizing for like 300 bytes and then suddenly uh, you need to get it down to 256 and you're just you're out yeah. of time you don't have time to really optimize those final bytes away yeah i like to uh to to have like an uh, optimization moments halfway the matches as well so mm -hmm. uh, for me it works well that the uh, counter just counts down so i know mm -hmm. like okay maybe like you said i can be around 300 bytes and uh, maybe when i have five minutes left it's, i should be around 270 or something like that Speaking of which, I think there's uh, less than three minutes on the clock, so uh, these are going to be the uh, the final the final stretch of this match. Both effects look looking lovely. I kind of missed the uh, landscape on past this side, but uh, yeah. I can understand not having space to include it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just wanted to tease it with us. Oh, he's doing that trick where you load yeah. the entire thing to get uh, yeah. two more bytes out of it. Yeah, he's exactly. No, now he, now he's on there. He's within limit. Okay, one bite. I guess he can't touch it anymore, <laughs> unless it's really oh, good at coding on a yeah. single line. <laughs> oh, stop messing with it. Yeah, it seems like Joe Bay is uh, in the limit as well. Yep. Still t tweaking oh, fastest. Yeah, Joe Bay as well. Over under on it. Okay. Yeah, this is about the time when you uh, stop messing with it. Tweak your bird and let it fly. Let it free. Or leave it alone in this case. Yeah. Oh, oh, he changed the colors. The, what happened there? I guess he changed the, um, yeah. the color coordinates or something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he optimized a bit too much with the pallet setting. <laughs> oh. A job a walking that edge of 256 bytes. Under, over, on. Okay, okay. Is he in? He is in. Okay, leave He's it in. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Talkie doesn't need more heart attacks. He already has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few scares uh, on, on previous commentary stuff. Oh. Yeah. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. This this should be it. And Pasta's still trying uh, to do some sinus changes there. Yeah. Ugh, I uh, don't know. Yeah, it's definitely a just, couple just interesting the, effects. Uh, yeah. Jobe still on it. We're we doing okay. some con control Y to make sure he has the, the good yeah. version in. And we should be done. Yeah. Five seconds, four, three, two, yeah. one, and we're done. Yeah. Thank you both, Jobe, Jobe and Pestis. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, both of them. Really cool. The fact the keyword was bird. Yeah. And why does Pestis have a, a, a magic carpet on? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, yeah. vote according to what you think is best. And uh, Super Oak, any last words yeah, you would I'm like to? I'm not even sure if uh, if actually Joby made it into the 256 bytes. He was just on the edge, and uh, I thought I saw him be over by one byte, which would be a shame because it would be a disqualified. Oh, we'll have to see him replay, but yeah, yeah! Holy shit! Yeah. By one bite! Ooh. Oh, come on! Oh, man! But he was, I mean, he was still playing with it. So. Oh, flip the I table, mean, throw everything to the ground. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. That's yeah. really rough. I Holy think crap. We, yeah, I think we have our winner already. I mean. Oh, uh, oh. that's terrible. Congratulations, no. Pestis, but that's terrible for Yobe. Everybody, please, yeah. huge round of applause for Yobe. Yeah. Great, great, great effort. That that's just, yeah. that sucks. 
That sucks so bad. Over um, by one bite. He joins yeah. the bite over limit club of uh, me and Gasman. So welcome, yeah. Yobe. We yeah. have... I, I don't think we have any trinkets, but... No? <laughs> we don't have any... We, we might have cookies. I have to check with Gasman. Yeah. We might have cookies for you. But cookies really sad. Yeah. Really, really sad. Would, would still be curious to see what people would vote regardless of Yobe being overboard. Yeah. So really cool to yeah. see see those results. But yeah, uh, still, uh, still vote. You could, you said, but uh, yeah, yeah. In but the rules case, were clear. If you're the, over the, the rules vote, are clear, yeah. And and to be honest, he he was still tweaking in the end. Where uh, at some point you just have to let go and take yeah. your hands off the keyboard. Uh, yeah. So you, you stop looking at the clock for a second and then suddenly you look and it's like 20 seconds left and you're just stressing out desperately trying to type figure out what you need to do and suddenly uh havoc whispers in your ear that it's done and you need to let yeah. go and you're screwed yeah. so that was that well uh, another exciting round and uh can see what uh, the other rounds will bring uh, for us uh yeah yeah we'll let you see the effects for a few more minutes uh while we get some uh water for preparing for the next round so uh see you see you soon bye bye everyone bye -bye. take care <laughs>